Hello everyone, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Nantucket, a new strategy game out which puts you in the shoes of a whaling captain, the sole survivor of the book Moby Dick, and uh, basically charges you with uh, plying the seas in the 1800s during the golden era of whaling. I know we all... Uh, I think most of us can all agree whaling is, is kind of a appalling thing that is rightfully illegal in most places this day and age. But uh, back then, this was an important piece of the economy uh, of these, uh, these nations in this era. And this is reflecting a historical period of time and is largely the sequel of a book, uh, again, called Moby Dick, uh, which was a classic and still is well regarded to this day. Um, in our last episode, we kind of continued on uh, making a little bit of money, expanding across the map a little bit, exploring across the map. We haven't really moved into the grand campaign. We've been doing a lot of side quests, um, but uh, I'm hoping that we can kind of progress through some more of these quests, uh, level up our crew a little bit. I'm working to get a better boat. That's what I'm really focusing on, is getting a ship that is better than my uh, little old crummy sloop, which I've been working to upgrade continuously, but I'm hoping I I'm about to uh, be at the point where I can buy maybe like a brigantine or a brig or something that, to that effect. Now, the audio you're going to be hearing in this video was taken from a live stream that I did on Twitch a couple of days ago. Uh, I've begun the process of transferring my streams, just the streams, exclusively over to Twitch. So I'm going through a little bit of uh, growing pains and some learnings and things like that. You may see one or two kind of things pop up from my Twitch streaming overlay of announcements of things that are going on during the stream. Um, I'm working to get those removed from my videos in the future uh, so that when I post them on YouTube, I won't be quite so obvious that it was, uh, you know, something that you can't interact with anymore because it was live. Uh, but in the interest of time, in the interest of kind of sharing my experience, this game did just come out a few days ago. Um, I wanted to go ahead and get this up here and, and continue to work through that. Um, Nantucket is, is a lot of fun. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, and I hope to continue sharing these videos with you all, but I certainly want to hear your thoughts as well. You know, let me know if this is a game that you want to see more of. I'd also like to do, and I, and I will end up probably stripping the audio out of some of these live streams in the not too distant future to do a little bit of historical discussion on, on whaling, because I think it's an interesting, uh, discussion to be had. Uh, there's some, uh, kind of fascinating pieces. You know, one of the uh, writings that largely inspired uh, the book Moby Dick was actually written by the captain who would end up becoming infamous during the Civil War because he commanded the U.S. sloop, or was the sloop or frigate, that intercepted the Trent and, and kind of started the Trent Affair, or at least that's my understanding, uh, where the British almost came into the war on the side of the Confederates. So there's a lot of rich and interesting history around this time period, around uh, sort of the whaling period in the 18th century, uh, and I think it could be interesting to talk about and kind of explain the reason it, it existed, but also sort of some of the uh, impacts that whaling had. You know, several whaling, uh, several whales nearly went extinct, and I just think it's an interesting period. I, I know most of my history that I talk about tends to be war gaming or war history, but there's a lot more history to that. And I've done some videos in the past that talked about some sports history without other park baseball, so I might do you know two or three videos here or there that talk about the whaling period uh, while covering this game. Uh, that's enough of me rambling, though. I've been going for almost three and a half minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and step out, transition it over to the live stream, and uh, again, leave your thoughts below, and I'll catch you guys back up at the end. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, and we now have a brigantine. Just as I was saying that, we went ahead and we purchased that. So, huzzah! We've graduated from the sloop, and we are on to the brigantine, which is a really interesting ship that I enjoy playing with a lot. Um, but... As I said, let's go ahead and jump into the live stream audio. So, all right, new ship. I go out of here. We got to go ahead and recruit some additional crew members now, because we can have up to six crew members. Um, now, remember, every crew member that we add, we actually lose a little bit of our cut. Right now, we get seventy-one percent of the profits from a whale. So, as we add more and higher level crew members, then we lose some of them. How can you be a whaler who's seasick? What? The other one is lazy. It's 11%. So if we hire him, our cut falls 11%. Yikes. All right, so we'll hire him. Uh, we'll go ahead and add a uh, new... Uh, not new, but... Oh, I don't have enough prestige. All right, so we don't have enough prestige for fancy people. Um... 
What about him? Let's see if we can get other... What was that other trait I wanted? It was... It was this, right? Boost? Yeah, I wanted that caboose trait. I have to fire someone to be able to afford someone because my prestige isn't high enough. Now, he is maimed. Yeah, they're not. Play is 11%. Alright, we're going to fire Marion. We're going to a new doctor. He had some good traits, but 11% is kind of hard to do. Um. Oh, his he wants 13%. Milton wants 14. Yikes. All these guys have huge stakes. Let's go with Cornelius, just like a basic medic, I suppose. Um, gives us a little bit more prestige, so we can get the person who's the Caboos. And what else do we want? We've got five, or four unused prestige. We've got two hunters. We've got two craftsmen. We probably should get a sailor. Sail the boat. Ship. Hiram. Alright, so there you go. That's our new crew. We're down to about 50% stake in all of our hunting. And... Now we can also hold a lot more stuff on our ship. We need to go ahead and expand our ship and assign people to their different roles. So, let's see here. Dry works. Let's just convert oil to, or blubbered oil. So we'll go ahead and put Norman in the dry works. Um, these people are in the forecastle. They get hit points, in if, or they get health points if they're inside there. Um, trading in Petersburg. Glenn there, cannon, captain in the hold, what's this, harpoon damage, plus eight harpoon damage, go ahead and assign Leo to that, signing, sick bay, you're the... You're the sailor, you're not going to be in the sick bay. you're going to be... Medic is in the sick bay. Well, let's craft her. I guess there's not really a place for him. Can't go on the harpoon. Find one person to work. Can't even assign anyone there. All right. Well, that looks like everything that we need to assign people to. So I think we're good there. Man. Well, let's go to quest. Where is that? It's in the Pacific. So actually, what we need to do first, probably to the harbor, I need to figure out my provisions. So go ahead and buy some food don't have enough for a long voyage. We're going across to the Pacific, so we'll probably want 150 days or more of provisions. As you can see here, now that we have a much larger crew and a much larger boat, we need a much larger amount of uh, provisions or whatnot to get where we need to go. Uh, I'm actually going to stay in the Atlantic for 30 days until our cannons are complete in Petersburg, or Peterhead, and then we'll head to the Pacific. So we're actually going to head... I guess we could just explore a little bit. Um, so we'll go ahead and maybe unlock more parts of the map, maybe. Thanks, Sonic. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the game. It's it's a lot of fun so far. Um, er. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead... Syphilis. Oh, Glenn. No, Glenn. No syphilis for you. Ugh. 
Indiscretions. We should visit their London office and get more information. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, the Governor-in-Chief Assistant laughs at you when you explain your visit reason. When she realizes you're serious, she lowers her gaze in shame. I apologize. I did not think anyone would want to attempt it. It was mostly a publicity stunt for the company. Let me ask. She disappears for a few minutes before coming back to you with papers. I'm sure Sherpelli will be really generous with you, but I cannot give you exact information. You'll find him at our York headquarters once you find, uh, once you find conclusive evidence of your lost expedition's journey. Here's everything we know about it. Right, let's go into the Baltic. Again, I'm just kind of trying to unlock more of the map while we wait for our cannons to be done. We might they might be done by now. Um, especially if we're gonna be late because we're hitting bad bad sailing weather. Alright, let's go ahead and enter the harbor. I don't think it's quite done yet. Crews, injuries, and illnesses have been healed. Nice. New issue of the newspaper. And gun, good powder's been installed. Okay, so it was completed. There you go. New issue of the newspaper. The Sultan... Uh, okay. Crushes mutiny of Janissaries in Istanbul. Um, deliver goods to Nantucket. We need 75 goods in our hole, which we can do. Fail to Eden's destiny. All right. Um... Pop off our hold as best we can. I am going to be going to the Pacific here shortly. All right. So we're going to go ahead and sail away, head back to Nantucket, because that's our mission. That's going to want us to go back to Peterhead. It's really hard to get ahead on these quests and get to where I want to go. All right. Uh, yes, J Street. The intent is for the two End All Wars series to continue. Um... One of the members was sick for a little bit, and it kind of delayed some things. Uh, I keep getting asked about it. My turn is in. I'm just waiting for the next turn to come. Um, even be. There's no point in hunting humpback whales because we have no room in our holes right now. Uh, let's go fight these guys. We're fighting war canoes in the middle of the Atlantic. That's a little bit silly. Um, let's just auto-assign everybody. All right, multiple war canoes. These levels are starting to get up, which makes the combat a little bit more complicated. Um, it's too far. Going. Grenade. Nice. Uh, sink him. Oh, it hits 30 for everybody? Whoa! That thing was awesome! Ah! <laughs> Glenn, you rock! Uh, damage to others. Whatever. Wow. This is going to be an easy battle. I did not expect it to go quite this well. And we win. Our canoes are all dead. All right, so what do we get from them? We get 10 food, which we don't really have room in our hold for. We get one water, one wood, taking the food going. Quest has been updated. Need to return to Peterhead. We're gonna have to do that for our goods and that we're delivering to Nantucket as well. Alright. Jobs. Oh, right. We've got to go back to Peterhead. Duh. Um. Wait, I'm confused. Why is my hold still full? Couldn't we have 75 barrels free? What did I miss? There you go. Let's go hunt some humpbacks as we head back to Peterhead. Let's get a little bit of money. 
We spent $7,500 on this boat, so we need to... I know I keep calling it a boat. We need to, you know, get some uh, get some value back for it. Over the whale boats, this is going to be my first whaling adventure uh, with two boats. So we'll auto-assign and go. Three whales, they're all... Oh, wow, with 52 hit points. So these whales are getting progressively more challenging. You can see one of our people, Leo, just got stunned before the battle even starts. And frankly, we don't have very high hit points on some of these guys. Some of these guys aren't the most uh, well-equipped um, folks yet. We're going to get hit by three enemy strikes, but we can use... Uh, Reroll character die. Oh, I wanted a grenade. Oh, knocked overboard. Oh, another overboard. Pinnacle throw. Okay. Oh, multiple people are overboard. Another one goes overboard. Yeah. That one whole boat, everybody got knocked overboard. Good lord. I need the trait that lets you not have anyone go overboard. Oh, he dove. Oh, bubble nut spiral, overboard, damage, damage. We need some first aid to those guys in that other boat. One of the whales just got stunned. We should be hopefully able to kill one of the whales this round. Um, emergency kit do. All characters in the whale boat. Oh, they do it within our own whale boat? Well, that's silly. I guess we'll go with this. It won't kill him instantly, but it'll... Um, cause it bleeding damage, so it will kill him over time. And we're gonna lose some crew members. I really hope I was hoping to avoid that. So one of the whales is down. So we'll just see who they attack. And Glenn just died. Damn it, Glenn was a level 10. I need more medics. Nothing? Not a single roll? Alright, so he's still bleeding. He'll die next round, and now we just have the 52 hit point whale to deal with. Just as if it's an easy thing. Yeah, I can't. All I can do is protect the whole right whale boat might die. Oh god. Thank you for the follow, Crux Rart. I don't know how to pronounce your thing. Oh my god. We retreat. Maybe it makes more sense to retreat. But I'm stubborn. Mass on him. Bubble net spiral! Apparently to someone who was overboard resistance, so that actually didn't hurt us at all. That bought us a whole nother turn. Stop. Fasten. He's already fastened. Aid won't be enough to save anyone who gets attacked. So hopefully he just dives. Something. Actually, he doesn't. Have, he doesn't have a card out, so it doesn't look like he's gonna attack this. Now he does. But he will attack. Finish him off with a strike, and win with only one dead crew member. So I guess it could have been worse. It wasn't great, but it could have been worse. We lost two crew members, or one crew member. Glenn is buried at sea, and we got a whole bunch of blubber, which I think we can turn into oil. I wish there was, like, a button that lets you just move everything over rather than having to manually click every time. 
So our ship is full. Head to Peterhead. See here, we're converting our blubber to barrels of oil, which are more valuable. So we'll get more money from that. It also looks like oil takes up less space in your hold. So you can see there we got $1,600 from 41 oil, which is much more than we would have gotten from the blubber. I think like $600 more or so. So much more valuable. Additionally, uh, you get the fact that uh, you're, again, you free up some hold space when you convert from blubber to oil. It's not a one-to-one -one relationship. It auto-converts Sonic if your ship has the ability to convert blubber to oil. So our ship has a furnace which heats the blubber up, which turns it into oil and lets you barrel it. So apparently it does auto-convert if you have a crew member assigned to that, that spot in the ship. So there's a spot in the ship that, that does the conversion. And we have a crew member assigned to it. Um. Okay, we need another crew member. Aren't really any good hunters. But anyway. All kind of meat. All right. Sydney did. Killing sea creatures. Water and safe docks. Same things. Thank you very much for the host, Stoic Frog. And your 12 viewers coming on over. I appreciate that. All right, so just assigned him. I'm not really sold on him, but I need another medic based on that last fight. Things did not go well. Uh, we're still, wow, well, we've got a whole bunch of extra food. We'll go ahead and sell some of that off. Make a little bit of money there. It actually gets a lot harder, interestingly, when you have more crew members to manage. It, and it was interesting. I didn't know that you can only... Let's do this here real quick. Get our reward, so $300 and 100 XP, $250 and one prestige, um, that your medic can only help the people in the boat with him. So ideally, like, you'd want maybe two fighters and a medic in a boat, or maybe a, a maneuver person, a medic, and a hunter in a boat. You don't want, you, you need a medic in every boat, really. All right, so I think we're going to go back and hunt some more humpbacks until the season ends here what's this unassigned crew member put them on the forward guns let's go ahead and hunt some whales I'm a big fan of the humpbacks in terms of uh, what we want to go after so let's see here put one medic in each boat we put one hunter in each boat Leo and one us in the other one maneuver guy and one crafter. I'm really not sold that the crafters make that big. Um, you can see here three adult humpback whales, none of the 52 hit point ones. Um, so we'll see how this all works out. For our first strike, I'm going to actually, no, let's go back to smooth whaling. Let's re roll. Active maneuver lets us to protect some of the. So we're going to go with a strike against the center whale. And actually, you get to strike twice. You get one from each boat. Okay, that makes sense. One from each whaling boat. So we almost killed the center whale. Just knocked one of our guys overboard, another guy overboard, and damaged one. So they didn't do much damage that round. And this whale's bleeding, so in two rounds it will be dead. So we'll kind of... Well, I would say we'd shift our focus, but the other two dove. So... I won't. So I'm gonna just give medical aid. This guy got hurt, so we'll go ahead and heal him. I can't heal him because he's in the other boat. Ugh. Heal a guy who's not hurt. All right. So those are not very strong attacks at all by these guys. All right. The other two come up for air or whatever. We'll go ahead and roll. Of course, we get nothing. Nothing. Apparently, grenades are only useful against um, war canoes, I guess. Right, so that whale's down. We're down to two. They're both fully healthy. I really need some medical points or something. 
All right, give first aid to him, I suppose. Aid. He's back to full health. Elmer is not. Apparently the enemy can also only attack. It'll tell you which boat it's going to attack. So this is going to attack one person. This is going to attack one boat. Uh, let's go ahead and strike. Basset. So this will influence two damage per turn by this humpback. So this one's going to die in three turns. And now we just need to deal with the humpback here on the right. And hopefully keep our crew alive. He just dove. He can't hurt us this round. Maybe he can. Knock him overboard again. And we lost our medic. Our brand new medic that we just brought on board his first voyage with the crew, and he's dead. Oh, poor, poor medic. All right, he's going to dive, so we're going to focus on the one on the right if we get any hits, which we, but we can't. Just finish him off. Okay, 17 damage. And Hiram died. Ugh. Ugh, I've become the butcher of whalers. Dan. And I'm making money, but who's going to want to sail with me when my crew dies? I lose prestige, by the way, also. Or no, I gain it. Combat 1. That's weird. But our crew members are not thrilled that their their crew members are dying. Their fellow crew members are dying, obviously. You can see their morale is plummeting. Oh, I can just hold it down. I'd still prefer a button that just lets me click it once. I'm late. Let's go back to Nantucket, I think. Right? No one is on the tiller. So I'm going to take the tiller, I suppose. You on the hold. And we'll go like that. See here, we converted our oil to, or our blubber to oil. We can go to Nantucket and sell that. The, we don't have as many crew members, so the cruise lays $1,000. We got $2,400 from that trip. A lot of money. $1,300 just for me. Really being able to convert that stuff to oil is, is a godsend. Let's go ahead and recruit some new crew members. We're down two. Want a medic. Rates are sickly and solitary. Whatever. I'll hire them anyway. And then we've got eight more prestige. We've got two medics. We've got two craftsmen. I think we're going to go with another hunter. And we've got eight we can use. We'll go with Owen. He's a level eight. There you go. Maxed out our prestige at 51. And our crew actually now takes more than half the whale. Uh, they get more than half of it split amongst them. British Parliament charters Canada Company to colonize Upper Canada. Explorer Alexander Gordon Lang becomes the first European to reach Timbuktu. And the first cow regatta is held on the Isle of White, Rot White, Wit, in the United Kingdom. Okay. So we'll go ahead and close that. Go back to the newspaper. Jobs except a new whaling area in the Chilean Sea. And yeah, let's double check where we're at food-wise. We're going to go ahead and sell some of this. We got a lot of food from that whale, so make a little bit of money selling some of it off. Going to buy enough to have 200 days worth of food. I just finished, by the way, Desolation Island, which is one of the Aubrey uh, Maturin, Master and Commander books, uh, which actually has a, a nice little bit at the end of it uh, that deals with an American whaler. Had been at sea far too long, and the crew is like basically very sickly from scurvy and other things. It's uh, a good scene there, I think. So we call the medic. Oops. Yeah, basically. Um. All right, guys, we've been going for about 30 minutes, and I'm sailing into harm's way, so I'm going to go ahead and step out here. I think this is a good natural stopping point for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, our continued look at this new strategy game called Nantucket. It is available on Steam if that's something you're interested in. But until next time, we'll fight this battle in our next video. Until next time, this is the Historical Gamers saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.